Welcome back to business. The Bank of Ghana has rejected claims it is working to determine salaries and compensation packages for bank executives in the country. According to the bank, it has rather begun an engagement with boards and senior executives of the bank to ensure that customers are not made to bear the risk of incurring the cost of banks' poor performance. Ebenezer Sabotis reports. First Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Maso Pukwa Ferry, told journalists the decision by the Bank of Ghana to agree with bank managers on compensations is in the interest of customers. He gave the clarification in an interview with selected journalists at the annual training program for members of the Journalists for Business Advocacy. And then another one reported that the Bank of Ghana is going to cap the salaries of bank CEOs. But please, the emphasis here is to look at how we can align their compensation with the performance of their loans. If your assets are deteriorating, then how should you continue to reward yourself at the expense of your deteriorating assets? And that's what we want to engage the banks with, so that we can make sure that they don't pass on their inefficiencies to you by compensating themselves very high at the expense of their deteriorating assets. On the new reference rate, the Bank of Ghana believes individual reference for customers will drive down interest rates. Dr. Masola Ferry has also been explaining the importance of the new credit reference system by the central bank. Before that, we have introduced the Ghana reference rate, which has replaced the base rate. So when you walk into a bank to borrow, the lending rate that is being quoted to you, there is a, a portion of it that is the Ghana reference rate. At the moment, the Ghana reference rate is about 16.25 or thereabouts. So if you walk into a bank... The workshop is an annual event by Ecobank Ghana to update economic journalists on the ongoing trends in the financial sector. Minister for Trade and Industry, Alan Tremantin, has re-emphasized the need for industrialization in Ghana as a means of achieving a Ghana beyond aid. Speaking at the Liberty Lecture by the Dankwa Institute, the minister believes this can be made successful if, with an integrated market when an integrated market is created for Africa. Industrialization as a key for development has been used to the success of many countries, including China and the United States. Although Ghana has over the years made some commitments towards achieving this dream, successive governments have failed with their modules. At the Liberty Lecture organized by the Dankwa Institute, Trade and Industry Minister Alan Tremanting highlighted a number of reasons for the failure of past modules. But it shows that fundamentally, in spite of all the efforts by various administrations, that we seem not to have a hold, a firm hold over our industrial development agenda as a country. And that is why it is important for us in assessing what we are currently doing under the Akufuado led administration that we learn from the past as a guide to the future. He also outlined a transformation plan which would support the private sector towards the attainment of the Ghana Beyond okay. Aid agenda. And I think that if we focus on industrialization, if we focus on improving agricultural production and productivity, then we are empowering our, our own private sector to now take the lead in terms of financing uh, infrastructure requirements. Because the challenge of depending on development aid is that... The lecture was a fourth in its series, organized annually by the Public Policy Analysis Center, the Dankwa Institute. For Joy Business, Karen Dodu. Managing Director of German Trade Show Specialist Fair Trade, Mrs. Paul Maas, has called for an intensified use of technology in agricultural development. According to him, agri-technology has become important to productivity. He said this at the opening of the sixth International Trade Show on Agri and Food in Accra. market from 2017 to 2018 imports of machinery in the field of food and beverage technology was growing by 17 percent 
to 534 million euros. Imports of plastics technology was growing even by 22% to 219 million euros, according to VDMA, the German Mechanical Engineering Industry Association. The Tunisian ambassador to Ghana, Egan Oleren, praised government's initiative towards agriculture and said it will help generate employment. Agricultural production and agribusiness are of importance to all countries. We commend the efforts of the Ghanaian government to boost uh, the sector through the flagship projects such as planting for food and jobs, rearing for food and jobs, one district, one factory, one village, one dam, among others. The sector is fundamental to economic growth of the country. At present, it is an employment locomotive amounting to more than 40% of, em uh, of employment of the country. This international trade show brings together various stakeholders in agribusiness. Alberto Bicius reports for Joy Business. Crude oil continued to witness losses all week selling today at $63.73 a barrel. Gold, however, made a significant gain to sell at $1,471.02. Here's the market update in Commodity News. much for watching. My name is Sandra Essenam Afen with the small news on our website myjohnline.com forward slash business. You have